DeFi is getting exciting again. It's been a couple years since I've seen so many good opportunities for yield and airdrop farming. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the most exciting ones in the market right now. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. You should be still be sure to do your own research and understand all the risks in any projects before putting money into them. With that being said, let's get into the video. The first project I want to talk about in today's video is Prisma Finance. Prisma Finance is an application on the Ethereum mainnet, and it allows you to provide liquid staking tokens as collateral to mint stable coins. And right now there's some really good yields on here, both on the liquid staking tokens and on the stable coin that you can mint. Stable coin you can mint is called MKUSD. And now one thing I wanna say as a heads up, I know that Ethereum mainnet fees are very expensive. So these strategies might not make sense for everyone. However, rest assured, later in this video, we'll have other strategies and other interesting projects that are off Ethereum mainnet on networks with significantly lower fees. However, for those of you that are interested and those of you that are holding ETH and want to earn yield on it, uh, Prisma is pretty interesting right now. And so first, what is a liquid staking token? If you're not familiar, basically liquid staking tokens are tokens where if you either don't want to run the infrastructure for an Ethereum node or you don't have the 32 ETH minimum to create an Ethereum node, you can deposit ETH into a liquid staking protocol and you receive a token in, re in return that is fully redeemable for ETH. And so, for example, Lido lets you mint ST ETH, Rocket Pool lets you mint R ETH, uh, and so on and so forth. And so, this has been one of the fastest growing categories in DeFi this year. If you look over here on DeFi Llama, you can see that it had around five to six billion dollars in June of last year. By the end of December, it had around seven to eight billion dollars. And keep in mind, this isn't all ETH, but the large majority of this is ETH. And since then, it's actually grown to be over twenty-four billion dollars. So since the start of this year, this category has grown from seven and a half billion dollars to twenty-four billion dollars. Just astronomical growth in a market that has been up, but hasn't. Nearly, nearly been up this much. And so basically what Prisma does is all of this liquidity that's been unlocked from staked ETH in the form of liquid staked ETH, Prisma allows you to earn yield on that and then to mint stable coins, which you can then use in DeFi yourself. And so just to show you sort of the potential on this right now, because they, are, they just started offering incentives, if we open the application to look at some of these yields available right now, if you have staked ETH, for example, ST ETH, then you get the yield from staking the ETH itself. And then on top of that, you can earn 7 to 15% uh, an additional yield from Prisma tokens, from Prisma Finance. And this pool already has $200 million in it. So it's a large pool. Unless you're a massive whale, you're not going to dilute the pool by depositing yourself. Likewise, this R ETH pool has $60 million in it, and you can earn 14 to 28% in yield. And if you're wondering how to boost this, basically you need to hold and lock Prisma tokens in order to boost it. But where the opportunities really come in is actually if you look at some of these other pools that incorporate the Prisma token, MKUSD, then you can see here that the unboosted yield on a lot of these is 18%, 17%, 20% on this one that involves MKUSD and ETH. And then it can be boosted up to 30 to 40%. And so that's just really, really high, high yield, especially when you're earning yield on this. And then you would also be earning yield on your collateral for that you would use to mint the MKUSD. So multiple sources of yield here. And I've actually heard some people who are early to the Ethereum ecosystem saying that they were getting vibes of DeFi summer 2020 from this application. One heads up I want to give on this is that the rewards are highly elevated for the first four weeks of launch this incentives program just launched. However, those rewards are locked for the first 26 weeks. So the idea behind that is that people who are early get highly rewarded for being early. However, you can't sell the tokens right away. So that way, that way you are incentivized to stay involved and participate in the protocol. That's Prisma Finance. Next thing that's really exciting right now is that Arbitrum currently has an ecosystem incentive program that just went live called the Arbitrum Short Term Incentive Program. And through this program, 50 million ARB tokens are being distributed to various protocols to help bootstrap and grow the Arbitrum ecosystem further. And for those of you who don't know, price of ARB is currently just over a dollar. So that 50 million ARB incentive is 50 to 60 
million dollars. So it's a pretty large incentive program. And just to look at a few of the protocols that are currently being incentivized, this analyst CJ the Donut put together this list here, and we can see, for example, protocols like Dolomite, Pendle, Vertex, Stella, Risk Finance, uh, Angle Protocol, Perennial Lab, Silo Finance, Trader Joe, Radiant Capital, and GMX are all offering incentives. And then different protocols are passing on the incentives different way. For, for example, Radiant Capital is providing incentives to lenders, borrowers, the R RDNT ETH pool, as well as PLS RDNT stakers, and GMX is using it for trading incentives, LP incentives, and also grants for our protocol integrations. So for example, just to, to show you what this looks like in practice, if you go to GMX right now, you have normal GMX staking, you have normal liquidity GLP staking, and then you have these GM pools here, which are, for example, BTC USD, ETH USD, RBUSD, et cetera. And if you look at the APRs in these, it's bootstrapped with the ARB tokens and you've got for like 26%, 16%, 58% on this ARB USD pool and so on and so forth. 52% on Link USD. I mean, that's that's really good, right? And it's this is on a highly reputable protocol, the largest protocol on Arbitrum. And, and a lot of this is possible because of this grants program right now. So if you don't want to use ETH mainnet, you don't want to use Prisma, you can use Arbitrum layer two. And then there's a lot of incentives rolling out right now for people who are using these, what are really blue chip projects in the Arbitrum ecosystem. Next thing that's got me really excited right now is that Solana DeFi has been having a major comeback. I've been talking about this on this channel. There's a lot of new projects launching and very excitingly, these projects oftentimes don't have tokens yet. So for example, you have Gito, which is currently the second largest liquid staking protocol on Solana. However, it's growing rapidly up hundreds of percents in total value locked in the last month and is getting close to the current leader for liquid staking on Solana. And they don't have a token yet. They have a points program. So if you deposit your soul in there, receive Gito soul, use that Gito soul in DeFi, then you earn Gito points. And we don't know for sure that's going to be redeemable for a token, but it seems pretty likely that there will be some conversion between Gito points and a token eventually. And so just imagine, for example, if you could have gotten into Lido when it was first launching, right, on, on Ethereum, then that's basically what you're doing for the Solana ecosystem now by getting into Gito. I don't know that Gito will eventually be as, as big as Lido, because that would, of course, require Solana to become as big as Ethereum, which, which is still a long shot. I don't want to count anything out, but it's still a long shot. But Regardless, if you're bullish on the Solana ecosystem, then this is a way to, to bet on that and put your soul to use without taking on that much more risk than simply holding soul. Although all smart contracts have risk, don't get me wrong. Uh, another opportunity in the Solana ecosystem that's interesting is there's MarginFi right now, which is a rapidly growing lending platform. Like Gito Soul, it's not currently the largest lending platform. It's behind one known as Soul Lend. However, it's growing rapidly and is on track to become the largest lending platform at some point. And this is like for something like Aave on another network, like any other money markets in crypto, you can deposit various tokens from this ecosystem, like USDC, like Soul, like liquid staked versions of Soul. And in return for doing so, you earn points and these points, again, we don't know exactly what they're for, but probably they'll go towards some sort of margin fi airdrop eventually. So you can basically pre-farm these protocols that will eventually be blue chips in the Solana ecosystem. And that's just the tip of the iceberg for some of the cool things happening in DeFi right now. If you want to stay on top of DeFi trends more, then I have a weekly newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com where I share the most exciting trends in DeFi as well as on-chain analysis, and useful tools to help you with your crypto trading. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.